Hello, everyone. Welcome to our live streaming. This is TTS Power. At, at, uh, on this morning, our colleague Amanda have a nice speech with us, talk about the isolators. So, um, firstly, I'm very sorry for that the Tuesday's live streaming moved to today's afternoon. Uh, so, what about today? What about today's topic? Before starting our topic, please uh, subscribe. Uh, please, if you like our live streaming, please subscribe at the right corner of our video. So now let's start our, our topic today. What, uh, what is today's topic? Let's have a look. Now, today we are going to talk about the, the suspension plan. So, this is our topic today. Let's have a look. Firstly, I will talk about what is the suspension plan. Then, I will do a short brief of the function of the suspension plan. At the third part, I will demonstrate what are the types of the suspension plan. There are about the five classification of the suspension plans. They are classified by structures, by position of rotating point, classified by raw materials, and of, of course, other types. Then, the last topic is how to choose the suspension plan. So, let's start our topic today. Suspension plan are used to hang conductors or ground wires through isolators of link fittings to tower arms or substation structures. The clamps are made of malleable iron or alumni alley. The suspension angle of suspension clamps is not less than 25 degrees. The radius of curve is not less than eight times the diameter of the installed leads. The percentage of the grip on different kinds of leads to the calculating capacity of snaps meets the international standard. So, what is the suspension clamp? Suspension clamps is a kind of fixed hardware. There are also two types of suspension hardwares, including tension fittings limited and limited grip hardwares. The suspension clamps hangs or supports the conductors, primarily bearing the vertical load hardware. Then, what are the functions of them? The suspension clamp is used on over high lines or substations. They can hang the conductor or arresters on the isolators or hang the arresters on the tower by the connectors. It is also used for fixing and supporting the conductors and non-layering road on the pole. Then, the functions and the, the definitions is here. But what are the types of the suspension clamp? There are many kinds of suspension clamp and they can classify by different Functions. So let's have a look at one by one. Then the first classification is classified by the structure of the suspension suspension clamp. There are five kinds of detailed suspension clamps in this classification. 
classification. The first one is CGU suspension clamp. It is also called general type suspension clamp. The fixed U-shaped screw suspension clamps can be cu customized. Customized. All specifications are available with the drawings provided. All the products with the international standard. But how about the materials? The clamps and the plate are made by forging iron. The close pin is made of stainless steel and other spare parts are all made of steel. The second type of this classification is suspension clamp with U-shaped plate. What are the main usage and features of this type? The diameter of the wire clamp slot is large, while it is used for large section steel called aluminum conductors or conductors wrapped with pre-twist wire shattered grown mats. If you use the common hanging plate, it is easy to cause deformation. These are the two reasons the U-shaped hanging plate is added to upper end of the wear hanging plate. Due to such a combination, the bending movement of the hanging plate is reduced and also changed the direction. And the third kind of the suspension clamp in this classification is the suspension clamp with socket the slivery eye. This kind of suspension clamp has the have many components and they are made of different materials. The socket and the socket are made of forging iron. The end fitting are stainless steel. The other materials are steel. All the components are hot developed, hot dipped governed zinc and are corrosion resistant. The third type of the strength, the under this classification is strength suspension clamps. Here are the main features of these types of the suspension clamp. The cable will not get out of the clamps, even the condition of the unbalanced the icing on adjacent gears. This means the clamps may have enough tensile strength. For the clips of the lightning conductors, the grip strength should be no less than 25% of the rated tensile strength of the strength, steel strength and the grip of the clips of the strain called alumni strain wear should be no less than 30% of the rate tensile strength of the wear. Now let's go into the five, the fifth step of this, under this classification is the anti-corona suspension clamps. It is used for 330 kilovolts to 500 kilovolts transmission line or high uh, altitude transmission line. This kind of class requires high anti-corona ability. Typically, the components of the anti-corona types include a flared flare, flare hub, two or four bolts to fasten the bolt hub, and the steel hub of the suspension parts in the middle of the hull, which also known as the suspension bar type. This type of anti-corona suspension clip is divided into two types, line and jumper. The jumper one can also use a substation and has weak grip. So, Let's come into the next classification. 
The following four types of suspension clamp is uh, are all classified by the position of rotating points. First, to the first type of the suspension clamp under this classification is center swing suspension clamp. The main fe feature of this kind of suspension clamp is the axis of the hull is above the center line of the wear, and its rotation co coincides with the deflation of the wear. And the second type of this classification is carried up suspension clamp, also called CGF type. My features of this type is the hull axis line below the center line of the wire and has a tendency to be unstable, and its rotation often exceeds the deflation of the wire. What about function of the carry up suspension clamp? It is mainly used when the overhead ground wire is placed on the top of the tower and when the split wire is to be arranged on the bar. The third type of under this classification is hung down suspension clamps. And the fourth type of this under this classification is carry out back type suspension clamps. They're all made of DL102 alumni alley and the stainless steel and also steel. The next classification is classified by raw materials. There are three kinds of suspension clamps under this classification. The first one is alumni alley suspension clamps. They have high strength, strong corrosion resistance, low high hysteresis loss, low energy consumption, and energy saving. It is also benefit to control the generation of corona. It is widely used on 330 kilovolts to 500 kilovolts transmission line or meet the requirements of corona production in the high altitude area. It is used on 220 kilovolts lines to replace the commonly used metal cast iron line, which has good economic benefits. The second one under this classification is steel plate punching suspension clamp. The hull of the wear clamps is stemmed from the steel plate without hanging plate. The hanging point is above the axe of the wear, and the yaw bolt is at where you stored for convenient constructions. The production process is simple with short cycles, high yield, light weight, and fuel accessories, etc. It is suitable for installation steel core alumni straight wires and alumni strain wires of medium and small sections. The third type of the suspension clamp under this classification is malleable cast iron. The whole plate and slivers is cast iron. The close pin and other spare parts are made by steel. We use hot dip galvanized technique for cast iron and steel. But what is the hydrosis loss? Hydrosis loss due to is due to the magnetic materials in the AC areas called cord. And in addition to the power loss of the co coil resistance, high Terrestrial and the eddy current can also be generated in the alternating mag magnetic field, resulting in power loss and heat generation. So, that these are the three types of the suspension clamps, and. 
How about other types? Of course, we have another seven types of the suspension clamp. The CTS double wire jumper suspension clamp, the MGU suspension clamp, and the CGH series external pin type suspension clamp. And also the wide suspension clamp, weld resistance suspension clamp, suspension clamp for vertical based conductors, and the jumper suspension clamp, and also the suspension clamps of last span and H UHV lines. So let's have a look at one by one. Firstly, the CTS double wire jumper suspension clamp. What does the CTS stand for? Let's have a guess. Okay, I will tell you. The C stands for the suspension clamp. T stands for the fixed. I stands for corona type. So the CTS stands for suspension fixed corona type suspension clamp. A next type is MGU suspension clamp and CH, CGH serial external pin type suspension clamp. The MGU type suspension clamp mainly used for overhead power lines and substations. They suspend the conductors and the lightning protection wear on the insulators or lightning protection wear on the tower by connecting the hardware. It's, it is made of malleable cast iron and alumni alley. Then it comes to the wedge suspension clamp. It is used for hanging the wire on the line, linear pole tower in heavy snow area. The wide suspension clamp used on the linear tower with the huge tensile strength. The next one is weld resistance suspension clamp. The materials of the clamp that played uh, is malleable cast area. The closed the, cast, uh, the closed pin is made of stainless steel and other spare part also made of steel. All the materials, all the materials we use are against the corrosion with hot deep thin coating. And next one is suspension clamp for vertical based conductors. They are established by bolts from two suspension clamps and a pair of hangers. The top clamps and bottom clamps hung, hung independently without interfere. What are the uh, advantage of this kind of suspension clamp? Re they can reduce cost by using two stair-tapped clamps with making two plates only. The independent design of the upper and lower clamps makes the hill rotate around the center and the clamps can lean to the side with higher tension when the tension of two sides is imbalanced, which avoids the additional bending movement of hanging place due to the inability of the clamps to be offset. The independence of the clamps provide the convenience for the line channeling for construction and operation and maintenance. Another type of suspension clamp is jumper type. With the continuous increase of the voltage level, the conductors of each phase in the line develop from two steps conductors to three split, four split, six split, and eight split. The suspension clamp for the split jumper are used to suspend the split conductors. 
The suspension can for double split jumper is mainly, mainly used to solve the technical problem. The suspension plan for the split connector is convenient in installation, has reasonable, reasonable structure, and got the beautiful shape of the jumper. The other types of jumper suspension clamp, including full split jumper suspension clamp, jumper brackets, and overlight suspension clamp, overhead light suspension clamps. And the last type of suspension clamp is suspension clamp for large span and UHV lines. What does the large span mean? This span is over 1,000 meters and height may reach 100 meters. But why we use them? Because of the wear, need to bear a large tension. We need to make Sure, the wear clamps release the wear when the wear is broken and also have a large hanging angle and a large radius of curvatures. So, let's come to the last part of today's speech. How to choose the suspension clamp? Firstly, we can select, select, select them on types and structures. The suspension clamp should able to bear the full load of the wire when hanging the wires. The wire can't slide in the clamps or get out of the insulator strain when the system is in normal operation or broken. The suspension clamps shall be able to bear the full load of lightning protection line within the vertical span when hanging the lightning production line. The lightning production line is not allowed to slide in the wear clamps when the tension is unbalanced. And when you choose the suspension clamp, it should have enough mechanical strength. Suspension clamps mainly, mainly bear the combination comp Combined load formed by vertical and horizontal loads of conductors or lightning conductors when the line is running. When the maximum load of the conductor or lightning protection line occurs, after considering the safety factor, it should not be less than or equal to the failure load of the wire clamps. Maximum load is the comprehensive value of the self weight, ice covered weight, and horizontal wind load of the guideline or lightning production line. The national standard stipulates that the safety factor of the mechanical strength under normal condition is 2.5. And it also should have the strength grip strength. What is the grip strength? It refers to the determination of the grip strength value of the clips on which the conductor is installed under the specific, specified test conductions. The suspension clamp should have a certain grip on the wire or the lightning production wire when the wire and lightning production wire have an even IC or an even sealing load under the condition of the operation. That is, the wire should not be slipped out of the wire clamp under such conditions. And last, Standard for choosing suspension clamp is that it should have a suitable angle. What is the angle? Due to the difference of the span and height of the tower caused by turning flexions, as well as the change of the conductor and the lining production value due to the ambient 
temperature and the change of the load. Suspension angles of the strands on beside both sides of the suspension point of the tower may be different. In order to prevent the strand wear from being damaged by exclusive bending stress at the outlet of the clamps, a necessary, a necessary check should be carried out to ensure, to ensure that the actual hanging angle of the outlet on both sides of the wear clamps doesn't, not, doesn't exist the national standard. But what is the national standard? The suspension angle of the suspension clamps should not be less than 250. And the curvature radius, radius of the suspension clamps should not be less than eight times the diameter of the installed wear. So this is our topic today. And this is my speech today about the suspension clamp and the important part of today's speech is the types of the suspension clamp. They can classify it by four types of the old suspension clamps in our daily life. So what do you learn about the today's speech, comment below. And if you interest us, please, subs please subscribe us at the corner of the, at the right corner of, uh, of the video. So next, last streaming will be on next Tuesday. Thank you for today's listening and welcome you next time. Bye-bye.